let's do this one more time. So this one is faulty and as you can see, if it's standing, it's going to fall over. So to fix it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This tutorial is going to show you how to quickly solve this problem. You need maybe like a screwdriver or anything that is pointy enough to use in pushing out the nut. Okay. Well, let's demonstrate it on this. You will need something sharp, as I said. So, can you see here? Inside this place, there is something like a nut, a screw. Not a screw, like a pin that you will have to... Can you see it here? This pin. All you need to do is to push this pin out. So, I, I will use this sharp end of this earring to push it out. So anything at all that is pointed will serve like this. Be careful so that it doesn't get missing. That's why I have like a different colored background so that if it falls here, I can easily see it. So you will use the pin and push that knot out. This knot, it's not a knot, it's just like a screw. And if you look at it, you will notice that one end is bigger, is thicker than the other end. And this end has like a square. It's a square. And this one is round. Whenever you want to put this pin back, you push from the round place to go in. Then if you want to take it out, you push the round place to go up like this, okay? So after taking this out, what you will see next is this. You can easily take this one off. And inside that is... Another black knot, not knot, this thing. This is what it looks like. When it shifts from the right position, that's when your this thing starts to move without control. So to fix this back, make sure if this leg has turned, if you look inside here, you will see, you see this dent, this line that goes in, it continues into this place. And this black thing stays like this on the line it stays like this with this one pressing over it so if anything happens and this alignment changes that is when your tripod leg will start having these issues or this problem so once you've opened this thing look inside this space and make sure that you can see that this line continues straight into this space okay get this flat this knot the flat side is going to be facing upwards then this dented this um, part that is curved this this thing is going to slide inside this space so just place it on top like that can you see let me take it out again so if it see it's not staying straight yet so you have to make sure that it's straight Make sure that it's lying flat. Now I have a flat surface here with the pointed part of this tin pressing inside here. So once this is done, I will get my this other one, place it inside just like this. Now remember to put in the round side from the top. You can see the, this side is square. So put the round from the top so that the square will end up fitting here, okay? So I'm going to do that now. You have to make sure that you can see. Make sure that this hole, this hole that shows here, aligns with this hole that passes through here. Can you see this hole? Make sure they are aligned because this pin is going to pass through here, pass through this one and come out and end here that's what is going to keep this one in place so i place it like this making sure that the holes are aligned so that it can pass then i will proceed to push in the round part the smaller part push it in from on top of here you might have to just wiggle it a little in case If it is not aligned, then it will not pass. So you have to make sure that... Okay, if I have it this way, I can see better. Can you see that? 
then remember once you are done in order for this thing not to fall out in order for this one not to fall out by itself make sure you press it down that way it has passed through all of them and this thing is now snug can you see so now if i close it this one doesn't move again okay so let's repeat it on this other leg let's do this one more time so this one is faulty and as you can see if it's standing it's going to fall over so to fix it get your sharp object push the knot out and take this out now get this make sure this this curved part is going to fit into this space inside here so you can see the the space for it i'm going to make sure that the flat side is facing upwards so that this one can lean on the flat part and push against it because when it's inside this is what it looks like it's going to lean on it like this like this can you see this this is what is happening inside there so that when you open it can leave it when you close like that open and close so we are going to push this one inside just drop it inside and then try to make sure that it is lying down flat make sure it laps into that space once it has lapped then you place this one you can leave it open or closed whichever one you want that is going to make it easier for you to put in the pin don't put the pin from here no put it from up so just make sure that it passes through it's easier when this thing is opened so that somehow you can see what what is going on Now remember to press this one down so that it doesn't fall off by itself. Push it. Press it until you, you can hear it click like it has landed. So now if I close my clip, it doesn't go back down. And my tripod can now stand comfortably. So if you have any problem with any of the legs, you can also just fix it that way. So just checking to be sure. My legs are fine. All of them are bad. You can fix all of them the same way. 